What's going on guys, my name is Dimitri and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna bring you my Notion task and event calendar that I utilize on a daily basis to organize my task management. So this task management system has been something I've been using and has changed mildly since uh, the fall of 2019 actually. Without further ado, let's dive into my Notion and show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. So before we dive into building out your Notion calendar from scratch, I wanna show you my task slash event calendar. So this is what mine looks like. It's pretty, um, it's pretty extensive as you can see. There's like this whole view here. There's some main to do's that pop up. I have my recurring tasks. I made a video on that before. And then I have some daily highlight stuff, places to jot down content ideas, unsorted to do's, and then this is other unsorted to do's here. So. This is something that you'll eventually get to, but for the first video, I think we're gonna do something a little less in depth and just let's get into how to build all of that right now. All right, so let's dive right into how to make a task calendar or task management system here in Notion. So first and foremost, as we were working on last time, put up a little emoji and put calendar here, and then we can right click on this task calendar, take the link, and then paste this guy right into here. As you can see, you'll have that. Now that we're in the task calendar, let's make this a full width page. Let's do slash inline calendar. And then we can type task slash event calendar. That's what I have. We can get the aesthetics going here, but calendar, it's actually a recent emoji, but calendar again. We can do a little cover here change it to whatever you would like. It's my old task list event calendar that I keep as a backup. So the next thing you're wanna, gonna wanna do is, is add a little bit of a table view here. So this is nice to have to, I usually label it all tasks. This is nice to have to sort of take everything and, and eventually your calendar will be a little bit hard to look back at the past at. So this is just something you can eventually like search up old things. And I think it's nice to have that extra table view. I don't really use a lot of the views on my own calendar outside of the calendar view. Um, that's why I have like my daily planner and, and other ones to kind of compartmentalize what I got going on. But I think that's good to have to search up old things. So what you're kind of want to do next is actually make the properties for this. So what I have for my own stuff is, is first and foremost the date. And then after that, we have the tag, sure, but I actually wanna try to organize this. So if we go to do at, we go to another date. So the calendar is gonna be showing, for me personally, the date that I'm doing the task. Um, you can have one that's set up to be the do at. So for example, if we go and click here, right? And we can click calendar by and then do at, it'll show up there. But I personally like the date. If you wanna make a do at calendar, do calendar, just make another calendar view. And then press the three dots again, calendar by do at. Personally, I like the normal calendar view. And then if we go into properties again, sorry for the side tangent, we can go into a status or a select one, type task group. So this is where we can have what's the building blocks of our priority list. And Notion, having a priority order to get things done, I think is very important. Then we have tags here. So for me, these are different things like the uh, type of work I'm doing. So if I have like a, a blog post or a research or website, this is color coded with the task group. So if we go into the task group real quick, I'm just gonna type out really quickly what I have. So while school may be discontinued, I just still have it there in general. Um, those are the different task groups that I work with. So essentially it works in priority order. I also don't track my work tasks in Notion due to just how things are at work. But so if we have work here, then side hustle, exercise, housekeeping, scheduling and reflection, social school, that is like my order of what I view as the most important things in my life. Um, I think my health's very important to me. I work out regardless kind of, of whatever work I have, but you know, say side hustle stuff did need to get done, I would probably skip working out. However, I do have like a daily routine that I always follow and that's all right. But that's kind of the task group that you can go with. Then some tags that I would include, for example, um, you know, it's like, is this like YouTube work? Now that would go with the same color as side hustle, right? 
say we have friends, family. So friends and family are both what social tasks, so they'd be blue. Um, then if we had something like exercise, uh, we just said like running. I don't really track that anymore. That that was basically to track like my uh, my sort of track schedule before, and it was flipped. Like track was before side hustle, obviously, because that was what I was doing. So I had to do it. But then if we have housekeeping, we can have something like small task, and that's going to be coinciding with the green that is housekeeping. And then scheduling and reflection, we can do like just scheduling or weekly planning in purple and that's like the same color so the goal here is to have things line up with the task group and then as you can see right here the goal is eventually once I add this last most important one is a checkbox put status whether it's checked off or not it means whether it's done or not so example or let's say YouTube work session or just record, record YouTube videos, All right? Let's make the task group side hustle. We can make it obviously YouTube. If we go to here and press the properties, it'll show what we want if we toggle them on. So I don't think the due dates needed. I don't think the due ads really needed either. I personally just have tags and status. That's what I have on my calendar. And I actually have the status blue. So it's just like on the bottom. So if we know this is checked off, that means it's nice to look at and we can see what's going on. When a little icon here puts a video. I personally have a bunch of templates that set up a task calendar. I think it's important to have a bunch of templates. If you want to create a new template for something, you just go to the bottom of any of these pages and create a template and it'll make a template within your task slash event calendar or you can create a new template here so if you want to make record videos and then we can set the tags and groups by default and then i personally am a big person that puts like a h3 what to accomplish and then I kind of list out the subtasks like this. That's how I do my task planning within all of my tasks in Notion. So let's show you guys what that sort of unsorted to do situation was. So if I go to the top left here and press copy link, this gives me the option to make a relational database based off of this. If we did it like here, it would do the whole page. And that's not what we want to do since this is an in line, which means inside the page database like if I went here like I could go into the actual database but we don't want to do that we want to just copy this bad boy and make a relational one so this is going to be the unsorted to do so if we paste this here it says create linked database and then what we're going to do is we're going to actually make this an interesting view that I've liked using for the past few months for sure so a lot of the times we when we're planning we don't know when things are going to come up. We don't um, actually know when things are going to happen. So if we do slash toggle, put a little emoji for a uh, clipboard and then unsorted to do's. This is going to be able to toggle your task slash event calendar here. So if we then press a filter here, make the filter, add filter, date is empty so that then anytime you need to jot something down for example schedule podcast guest right so then we can you know go to side hustle and then podcast eventually you'd have a bunch of templates that kind of have all of these things created and that's nice but for the moment in this task list event calendar, I can't tell you what your different um, things would be. So I am just giving you examples. Now, what I would think is good is if we take this actually, and since it's an inline view, we can do something nice. Take a block here. And 
And if we if we kind of do a little bit of a notion trickery here, we can get this thing to be set up in a certain way. So I just put two blocks next to each other, right? So if we put this guy, huzzah. Now if we take this and drag it, we can make it so it's like three quarters of the view and then pop this guy in here, huzzah. Our unsorted to-dos are like right next to our calendar so we can plan a little bit better. So then if we change this view, I don't really like that. I like, I want a list view because it's just kind of small and crunched. So if we take this table view, we can keep it or get rid of it either way. But this list view will will also have um, some some sort of issues here. So let me pull this away. Can't really see filters in Notion when it's scrunched like that, which sucks. Or you and you can't really click those three dots. So if we show the properties, maybe we just want to see the tags of the task group. Let me do tags. We don't want to see the date. Um, and then we make a filter again for filter do or date is empty. So now once again, it's just the unsorted to do's pop this guy in here. If we want to put this on a specific date though, what's nice is we can drag it right to the calendar rather than having it as a sort of separate entity. So you can see here how this ends up working out eventually as like we have all the tasks here. You can edit this table to be any way you want it. If you right click on any of these, press hide and not show them anymore, or you can change the way that they show here with properties. The only thing you can't hide is name. You can, you can actually show how many pages you want to load at first, which is nice as well. But if we go back to the calendar view, you can see how this is a nice little task management system within Notion. So the next step in this process is, is getting other parts of this figured out. So like my, my notes, habit tracking, training calendar, and the daily planner pulls in the task slash event calendar daily tasks right here in a nice and neat view. And once we get all that sorted out, you'll kind of have the framework of your Notion workspace. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and for all of the support recently. I will see you guys in the next one.